Hey guys, beside the smash, the drop shot can be a really powerful weapon in the rear court if you play a really disguised close shot behind the net, but it is only powerful if you do it the right way. In this tutorial I will show you the technical key points that are important if you want to play a really dangerous drop shot from the rear court and also tell you the secret of a very famous uh, women's singles player Tai Tzu Jung that is using that shot extremely often and is also scoring a lot of points with it. So let's dive into it, a deceptive and disguised drop shot from the rear court. Okay, in general you have two options to play a drop shot and to slow the shuttle down. One option is by slicing it on the left or the right side um, and that slice will help to slow the shuttle down. In this video we will focus on the second option by just slowing down the arm movement. And really important here, you always want to let your opponent think that you are playing a fast shot to the back or a, a fast smash. So he's waiting to the sides or to the rear court and then suddenly the shot is coming really close to the net and that is what makes a drop shot really powerful. If you show him very early that you only play a soft shot by yeah, slowing down the movement already from the beginning, he will know, okay, I have to go to the net and you won't score any points or you won't um, yeah, bring you in a positive or good situation with your drop shots. So the first key point is the movement should look a lot like a smash or a clear. So the same principles that I taught you in the smash and clear tutorial also count here. Elbow to the back, um, racket head up, and then you should initiate the movement with the hip, and then the shoulder and the arm follows. Try really to focus on the elbow, that you also start with a fast elbow movement forwards, and I think that is the main key to let the opponent think that there will be a fast shot to the rear court or there will be a smash. And when the elbow is here in front, then you start to relax and stop the forearm rotation and also, yeah, it's like a bit freeze the arm movement. And then it's more like a pulling movement. So it looks like this. A good way to practice it is doing it just or start on the side of you. Then it's a bit easier to focus on the explosive elbow and then freezing, uh, freezing and pulling down or pulling the arm towards your center. So try to throw shuttles here on your side and play some cross court shots with that movement. Um, I already showed you this one here for the smash and the clear to generate power. Try to start with the same movement, but sometimes you just pull it cross court and take the tempo out of the shuttle. The next step is that you try to do it above you and generally the arm movement and the arm principles are staying the same. You just, instead of hitting the shuttle beside you, you hit the shuttle here on top. Also a thing to focus on is that you give the shuttle a higher trajectory than normal. So you don't want to hit it too flat. You want to hit it a little bit upwards so it comes down right behind the net and that will also make it more difficult for your opponent to reach it. If you hit it more flat, the shuttle will uh, fly further into the court and again it will be quite easy for your opponent um, to get it back. There are two corners or two ways how to use that shot and you also see both ways um, when you watch Tai Su Ying. On one hand, you can use it on the round the head corner um, when you do a scissor jump here and then do a, a straight drop shot um, really close to the net. 
but she's also using it a lot on her forehand side, hitting it a little bit more beside her and then also pulling it in and play a cross court net shot, also very close to the net. A really good thing here, if you play against right-handed players and if you're also right-handed, what is the case usually, um, then you always play that, net, uh, that drop shot on his right forehand corner. And that is really difficult to cover for most players because there you always need to do an extra step like a chassis step or something like that to cover that corner. It's a bit easier to move to the um, backhand front court for most players. So that also makes it even more powerful um, for right-handed players against other right-handed players. Okay, let's just sum it up. What is important to play that disguised drop shot? You start out like you want to do a smash or a clear movement, explosive hip and especially explosive elbow movement, and then you slow down and freeze the arm movement. No forearm rotation, but just pulling the shuttle forwards. You can do it on top of you if you are in the round the head corner, or you can do it a little bit beside you if you're in your forehand corner and play a cross drop shot. Okay, so much for the drop shot. I hope now you have an idea how to really trick your opponent with deceptive drop shots that, that fly really close to the net and also that you can play from your forehand as well from your round the head corner. As usual, don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't done so, it um, would be cool if you subscribe to my channel. I hope I see you in the next videos. Um, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.